What is up, you lovely lurkers? I'm Willie, and he is Scott. Welcome to the show. Today, I'm going to eat some more wings. I'm going to eat that meat. And don't eat the rainbow? And TikTok and points are getting a little meta, Scott. Just a wee. Just a wee. Now, if you like our voices, you can find more of our faces on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Or strewn about a Parisian street <laughs> like all the garbage. Ooh. Let's lurk. Bum, 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 bum. I always go to the NFL song. I don't, I don't know. Ooh, you're so influenced ba, 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 by ba, 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 basketball. Give me, give me, give me the ball <laughs> because I'm going to dunk it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, to, to the, 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 the sauce bracket 2023. We have the Southern region featured today and... Like I said last week, we are very worried about Willie's Southern region because he is Let's, going can to we be get, can, bringing the heat. With can the, we give an update? Oh yeah, we I can. know. I know everybody. I know everybody is interested about okay. my my next day experience. You know, post game recovery. Yeah, not great. Not great. <laughs> Pretty bad. Meat sweats on top of other things. I, the goal. Tomorrow, anus, Vaseline, up, I'm set. Then set. Listen, as long as you don't prolapse, I think I think it's good for the show. And even okay. if you did, that's good for the internet. Can I give the listeners a rundown of what we're going to go through? Because I think, let's go through a little bit faster. One, for my sanity, because all of this is roughly hot. Yeah. And two, because I know everybody loves the sound of eating wings. Now, right. I'm going to try to be a little bit more descriptive of uh, what Willie's eating, what it's mm -hmm. like. And you mm -hmm. have to tell me, I mean, let's let's just pair them up. Be like, this is sauce one. This is sauce two. Perfect. Well, round one is jam and jalapeno against Caribbean jerk. All right. Jam and jalapeno looks to be like a burnt orange color. Willie's just shoving it in his face. No mercy whatsoever. Jam and jalapeno. Allegedly, this is supposed to be spicier than Caribbean jerk. How does it taste? Honestly, it tastes like a chicken wing. It's not spicy yet. Can you taste the jalapeno? Can you taste the jam? That's what I taste. I taste jam. Oh, okay. So pretty underwhelming? It tastes It tastes sweet. It tastes like an orange chicken. That's coming up in the list, but that... So it's good? I didn't, I didn't mix say it's good? Up. It's okay. It's okay. a good solid wing. All right. But this this one's a hard one to beat. This is Caribbean, Caribbean jerk. jerk. He's putting this into his mouth. It's a uh, burnt orange color. Now, how about that taste? Oh, I see you've danced this dance before. Mm -hmm. He's got his eyes closed. Mm. It's like he's remembering a fond uh, experience with a past lover. It tastes like a barbecue. Uh, smoky, rich in flavor. It's moving on. 100%. Jerk is the winner. <laughs> We're going to jerk it forward. Now, one that is uh, just going to twist my palate a little bit, get us started. This round is <clears throat> oh, Caribbean jerk just showing back up just to say hello. Uh, is Nashville hot versus sweet barbecue? Nashville I'm gonna hot. I'm going to tell you. Going number one I'm here. Not I'm not excited about Dude, this. This yeah. thing is dark. You've had a Nashville hot chicken sandwich before, though. Mm -hmm. They taste delicious. All right, uh, yeah, that was a dark orange color. Whole thing in the mouth. Just you're just taking these things like you're th practically throating them here, man. <laughs> but how does it taste? Willie Matson, the throat goat. <laughs> Nashville hot. Is it? Is, is it taste is that Nashville? What that means? That's what that means, right? Does it taste like it's from Nashville? <laughs> Honestly, it tastes like getting a really good, like, spicy chicken sandwich from Popeyes. Yum. Worth that every delicious. bit. If you want spicy wings, Nashville hot. Again, sweet barbecue. You know me. If it doesn't have heat. I mean, sweet barbecue is just going to cleanse your palate, if anything. All right. Mm -hmm. Full on, into the mouth, dark orange color chicken. Continues the trend. He's shaking his head. 
he's chewing, masticating all over the place. It's a, uh, it's a thing. It's a real thing. Don't don't give me that look. I, I read the dictionary. <laughs> all right. So I'm guessing sweet barbecue's out. Like there's no comparison. Out. All right. Natural hot is so far. I I will tell you. That that is going to be a strong contender next week against this is, Caribbean Jerk. Okay, maybe Nashville Hot is last week's what? Um, or what? What was what was last week's big surprise? Mango? Uh, Thai curry. Oh, it was Thai curry. <laughs> All right. Oh, I dreamt about that the next day. <laughs> Not because of my butthole, because of the flavor. Is Nashville Hot this, this one, week's Thai curry? We'll find out. This one, I think, is going to be a tough one. This matchup is lemon pepper versus orange chicken. Ooh, lemon pepper goes in first, light orange color, full on chew. The look of surprise. Heavy lemon. Too much lemon. Mm-hmm. Almost like a, it's no no sweet, all sour. Mm-hmm. That's unexpected. No spice. It's supposed to be like a medium level spice. There's nothing in this. Well, your mouth also might be adjusted to the previous sauces, too. You have to take that into consideration. People that like lemon pepper, I'm good. Good for you. It Can you taste like the pepper? Ni- it tastes like my 90s aunt and uncle's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, orange chicken all the mm-hmm. way down. Medium orange color. Oh, it's melting in his mouth and in his hand. Hands where we can see him, Willie. <laughs> You're dancing a little bit too much there. <laughs> this is my dinner. Orange chicken is delicious. It's classic. There's no there, there's no real spice to it. This wasn't a particularly a good round. I'm going to give both of them like fives out of ten. But, Lemon pepper, maybe a four out of ten. But orange chicken. Orange chicken moves on. It's not like. It was a disaster of a game, but it's moving forward. Any uh, uh, comparison to last week's quote unquote P.F. Chang B-hole? Better or worse than P.F. Chang? <laughs> worse. Oh, that's not. Mm-hmm. Not good. Not good. Okay. Here we go, folks. We're going to save the worst for last, but this round is Mango Habanero versus Blazing Carolina Reaper. Now, it's it's really funny because a long time ago, Blazing was ghost pepper, and that was the hottest thing on the Scoville scale at the time. The Carolina Reaper hadn't even been invented yet, I don't think. So Mango Habanero, that's one of your favorites, right? This is a... Uh... I've never eaten this. Oh, really? What do you think? It looks painful. It's the hottest one in the <laughs> hot category before you get to the wild category. Okay. Wild is only Blazing Carolina Reaper. <clears throat> I'm fine. And Desert Heat. This is okay. Wild last week was worse than this. It's starting to pick up, but there's actually flavor to it. You can taste the I mango. Am not, I'm not a huge fan of mango, but that is a good wing. The sweet and the hot mixed together, from what I heard. I don't like mango flavor, so I would never eat that one. I'm uh, right there with you. I will never eat that again. <laughs> unless it moves forward and I have to eat it next week. <laughs> okay. All right. I just want to take a quick pause and say thank you very much for en- enduring this for the show, Willie. Because like, I'm not, I'm not participating in this. I can just see the pain that's on your face. And I can only imagine the pucker that's on... <laughs> Uh, the toilet later tonight okay and with that ladies and gentlemen carolina reaper i don't wanna it's a my mouth is on fire it's like a reddish dark brown color drum roll always goes for the left cheek first moves it around i'm afraid of my right oh my god (laughs) okay Describe. Is there anything but pain? Anger. It's just hot? Hatred. Just hot. Just hot. Oh. There's a new there's a new flavor in town? Is this the you gotta be honest. I know you don't want to, but what tastes better? Don't touch your face. You're not supposed to touch your face. I'm going to be honest for the show. Ladies and gentlemen, he's giving himself double purple nurples right now. You can't Uh, see this. Like, fuck. (laughs) He's shaking his hands. (laughs) You got, don't you have ranch there? Use the ranch. Eat the ranch. He's drinking the ranch right now. And wine. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is like genuinely the worst. It is the hottest one they have. But does it does it have any other flavor besides No, hot? no nope. redeeming flavors. None. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing redeemable about this. So based on that though, this is your personal preference. Habanero. This... Habanero goes forward. I'm getting ice. I'm getting ice. <laughs> Willie has left the building, <laughs> which is a great time to remind you that even though we're not sponsored, if you're having some uh, digestion issues, you can always turn to a good can of Starry. Starry is formerly known as Sierra Mist, and they haven't changed the formula one bit. So if you like Sierra Mist, you're going to love Starry because it's the same exact thing. Willie is back having uh, I, I brought I brought peanut butter. And a big spoon. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. I'm, I'm not I, kidding. I, I'm not doing this for the internet. This is unpleasant. All right, you you recover for a little bit. Okay. We, we've got we've got those who are moving on to the elite eight, and uh, this week we just in real life moved on from the elite eight to the final four. Next week, Willie's gonna do breakdown to get to his final four. And maybe We're more. Doing it. We're doing the rest of them. We're going to do the rest next week. Yeah, we'll do it all. Speaking of things you should not eat. <laughs> this week, there was a bill introduced in California that says, end of the rainbow? California is targeting Skittles and other snacks with toxic chemicals. Now, oh, thank God. <laughs> Willie ban, hates Skittles. Ban Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> you you've mentioned on here your hatred for skittles which i don't understand i'm very biased because i can't have chocolate and skittles is one of the few things i can enjoy but do you think first of all without going into any detail this clickbaity title does anything for you does it say like oh i should i should be angry at this or like i'm not gonna read this this is the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard first of all push through the pain I'm coming through sadness and, and anger and hatred. It sounds like my Saturday nights before I met my current partner. <laughs> I was there. Uh, I'm, I think this is a good idea. I got peanut butter on my mic. I'm a mess. I'm a mess right now. You're a hot mess. Yeah. Nashville hot mess. Okay. I, I breathe out and it hurts. <laughs> I think this is a great idea. We need to put some restrictions on it. And if somebody wants to start, of course, it's going to be California. Yeah. I'm all for it. Now, the chemicals that they're talking about are basically additives. There are things that the European Union will not allow in any of their food. They've already been banned. And I know you're like, oh, you're hippies and stuff. Like, These are all additives that the human body doesn't need. And in animal testing have actually caused negative responses on their immune system, hyperactivity in children, and increased risk of cancer. I think that this kind of says it best. The uh, the person who introduced it, I think his, his last name is Gabriel, but he says he loves Skittles. He eats wild berry Skittles all the time. Jesse not, Gabriel. He, sexy Gabriel? Yep. Okay. <laughs> You can think he's sexy. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. The Skittles ban isn't to actually get rid of Skittles. It's to force this company to change the ingredients so that there's no harmful chemicals to humans. Which let's just let's just think about that right there. Why? Why 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 are they in there in the first place if they are actually harmful to humans? Corpo because of the colors, Scott. Because of the sales. Because of the money. The profits? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That bottom line. That sweet, sweet bottom line. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I knew it. I knew every executive in corporate America is a top. Because <laughs> all they care they're, about. They're seeking that thick bottom. <laughs> bottom. <laughs> There's a list here, too, of things that would also go get adjusted with this band uh do you like ding dongs yeah. everybody does let's be honest one way or another you well, love shoving those ding dongs 
the, I'm talking about the food, Willie. What are you talking about? Yeah, they... People eat it. They like zebra cakes. <laughs> <laughs> No, they like you hoos Oh, I shoved that spoon too far down my throat. I almost gagged. <laughs> this is a mess. What am I doing here? Uh, so, red number five. Your days are numbered because eventually we're all gonna we're all gonna be uh, eating healthy. Healthy Skittles help you lose weight. That's how you should pitch it. Whoever is in charge of Skittles, I don't even care to find out. That'll just ruin. The next time I get a bag. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how you should be pitching it. You said, like, we are, these are now 50% healthier because we took out all this poison. There you go. There's more sales. Hi, wow. How you doing there, Here's buddy? The, here. <laughs> I've disassociated. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> I, I don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> Speaking of not knowing what we're doing anymore... We're talking about politics already, Scott, so we're just going to keep going down this path. But I everybody knows. I didn't bring it up. You brought it up. Everybody knows that the most used app in the United States of America is WhatsApp. That burned. <laughs> is TikTok. <laughs> this week, there was, I guess last week, there was a groundbreaking trial not I don't know if you'd call Not it a, that a farce, a committee it, hearing. It wasn't even a trial. Yeah. With a bunch of Congress people against the CEO of TikTok. A one to and many. Oh, <laughs> boy. Before I go into my thoughts, I understand that the Internet algorithm will feed you information and will live in this bubble. So I want to know, what did you hear about this hearing? First of all, before before I go into my diatribe, I'm just really interested in to hear your defense of communist China. I can't wait. I'm sure all our listeners can't wait. Stay tuned. It's coming up. But I'm getting more wine. <laughs> the thing that struck me the most was our media system really cut it down. It was a five-hour interview or harassment depending on which side you're looking at if it was a workplace somebody would have been fired and it wouldn't have been that ceo i i, I just know say yes. that say yes say, say yes, yes. <laughs> sorry which one which one <laughs> this display was showing just how much the ceo was prepared to talk about something he absolutely 100 percent knows about and maybe didn't share enough about all the while i guess highlighting the the, the uh <laughs> the lack of knowledge aptitudes yes inaptitudes of our current congress people one of them from georgia said welcome to the most bipartisan i guess committee that's ever been created thank you america for focusing on the things that really matter TikTok is the thing that you're the most bipartisan on. Not universal health care. Not opioid addiction. Not making Guns. things better for the middle class. Not infrastructure. Not focusing on peace rather than war. Education. Oh, my God. Not education. No, 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 no. We need to keep people Oh, no, dumb. they're very focused. They're very focused on... <laughs> removing things that we can be educated oh yeah that's on, right like books anyways <clears throat> okay so this was a hearing that for me and i think everybody else who is on tiktok which is 150 million americans five million businesses some small some big you have church organizations people have started uh faith-based congregations solely from tiktok did you know that I mean, I believe anybody will worship a false god. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We're not going to go that far. <laughs> Politics will. But to me, this felt like a complete farce where and why I led into this story by saying TikToking points are getting meta is it came out that most of these politicians had an agenda. And when you go back and Shut you start to peek into their financial up. data... 
which is public information because they're public officials, you can see that many of them have recently invested in Meta or part of their like big CPAP, CPAC, CPAC, uh, not, not the sleeping machine, <laughs> but some of their biggest donors are from Meta and Alphabet. Oh, yeah. And I wonder why. We talked about this a couple episodes back. Where's where's the money? Follow the money. There's a uh, a TikTok that we follow, an account called Quiver Quant, I think, is the exact oh, name. My, the <laughs> accounts I follow that say Quiver are usually different. <laughs> yeah, you're focusing more on the quants. <laughs> 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 but his whole shtick is basically... Follow the money from where these Congress people and senators mm-hmm. are investing in because you can. And he's got a website dedicated to it so that you can make the same trades that they do. I hate these types of hearings with all parts of my beings. I want to introduce a law that changes them into actual, I don't know, discussions, something that it uh, is it better than productive. just must see TV, mm-hmm. must see span. There's... There's nothing good about these hearings because I just want to I just want to for people who would have no idea what we're talking about. I just want to do a little role play right now, Willie. Very different from what we used to do in the past. It's just going to be verbal. Can oh, you man pretend that you're going to be somebody who's at being at the hearing? I'm sure. going to be yep. I'm going to be a congressperson, all right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Willie. Yeah. What is TikTok? Well, it's it's an app. You see what where... TikTok actually is? It's the most evil app in the world and it should be banned. Now, have can, you can I, can have I you respond? ever seen a TikTok where kids have been hurt? We try I don't to see do how you couldn't to... have seen it because you're the CEO of TikTok and you should know everything. You must have seen every single TikTok that's ever existed. Uh, can, could can you I just respond? really briefly describe to me and I'm going to give you enough time to respond. What is TikTok? Yeah, thank you, Congressman. TikTok is an The app devil, that- that's exactly right. You heard it here first, folks. The CEO thinks that it is the devil. He agrees with us. I yield my time. I'm going to eat the rest of these. I, he would have had a more productive time eating the Carolina Reaper wings from Buffalo <laughs> Wild Wings than he would have listened to the jargon from these cum dumpsters in in politics, and I'm sorry, like I'm gonna use some pretty angry terms because As you let's should. go through these. Let's go through these these top moments real fast because it was five hours. If you're living under a rock, and you still think TikTok is this evil corporation, which it could be, gonna steal your shit. It could be it very but well. But the could problem be. is, is that, and I have a theory that aligns with what a lot of TikTok users have. I'm gonna get into it here in a second, but let me just say this: a congressman, Representative Richard Hudson, asked. Does TikTok access your home Wi-Fi network? Full stop. That's what apps do. If you don't understand that, fuck right off. Move along. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Another congresswoman. uh, What is her name? You could just say congressperson. Kat Kamak? Yep. Was, Was the quintessential Karen in this hearing. Held up multiple signs and when she wanted him to answer a question and he straight up said no, she said, say yes, say yes. <laughs> every one of them, every single congressperson there failed to realize that Chu, the CEO of TikTok, is from Singapore and not China, which are different. So there's just some anti-Semitism coming from this organization. And then lastly, the last one I want to bring up is this oh, no. whole thing about facial recognition. Is, is Mr. Chu Jewish? No. Oh. <laughs> Racist? Yeah. Racist. Okay. Yeah. There's probably a little bit of both in there somehow. I mean, it's definitely there. It just didn't need to come out that day. <laughs> I, so this idea... That an app will steal your facial data is a clear example of somebody being uh, asked to read a question and not understanding the context. 
there was potentially, potentially somebody much wiser in Mr. Carter from Georgia's organization who any of his interns <laughs> knew the question are on TikTok themselves and said, find out if they're doing facial recognition. Scott, this brings me full circle to Meta. This week, you can go on to all job searching sites and see that Meta currently has a job listing for a facial and eye recognition position. They're looking for a specialist to track eye movements of their users in real time to see what's interesting or not. Hmm. And Earl Carter from Georgia, his biggest CPAC investor is Meta. And I, he might have been the guy who asked, like, does this track your pupils? That's exactly who asked. You know, I'm sure if Mr. Chu would have obliged and said, like, yes, we do have that as, like, a position, he, he mm. might have followed up with, can we can we hire that person? Can we? Because there's an opening for this company that's backing <laughs> me right now, and I was just wondering because you guys are so good at it. Would you would could you share them? Just maybe like every other day, <laughs> every other week. Here here's the going concern that many TikTok users have right now, and I know that people that listen to us are either too young to understand politics. That's okay. At some point, you will realize the effect it has on your life. Uh. Or two, you're too old and you don't realize the impact that this social media app has on your life. That's okay, too. One day you'll die. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> but. Think about it this way. Let's say, Scott, you want to run for Congress. You want to run for Congress, right? I'll probably Great jog. State of... I'm not going to be okay. that much of a. <laughs> Scott. Scott's going to jog his way into Congress. What, it, what happens? If I said, "Hey, you need to you need to create ads. You need to have flyers. You need to have people doing text messaging campaigns. Where are you going to get that money? It's not here. Uh, I'm going to do it from individual donations. <laughs> not the show. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I'm not going to. I don't want to take any pack money, but I would take like the legal amount from. I guess. Any individual that can. I don't, I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm pretty sure this show has guaranteed that neither of us will ever be in politics. <laughs> Facts. Which is, which well, is nowadays, we're doing it. <laughs> is it because we're too smart? <laughs> most, most likely, yeah. Uh, Do you think that you would be able to go out and campaign and get money? I bet the answer is no, except what if you did it on TikTok? I've seen lots of politicians uh, and followed lots of politicians during the last cycle uh, on TikTok because I thought their videos were funny. I never gave any of them a single dime because, frankly, it's it's all dirty. It's all dirty. That's not cool. what they need. TikTok is a free app, and if you can get yourself in the in the eyes of mm -hmm. 150 million Americans for free, you have the potential to challenge a base. That is built off the funding of these in these organizations that have an agenda. Right. Right. And I just want to say as the uh, advocate over here for mm -hmm. the other side of the aisle, we can acknowledge that China has the Communist Party as their government and sure. they control many, if not all things inside mainland China. If this company, TikTok, a subsidiary of ByteDance, a Chinese-owned company. No. Yes. 60% ByteDance? privately. ByteDance is 60% privately owned. Okay. And, and it, this is the kicker, the work that they do in China yeah. has a different uh, organization of individuals that work on the board because of the communist party but those people do not work on the board for tiktok correct do they work on the board for bite dance that doesn't matter that's just it, the way their it government does matter works. <laughs> just does okay. matter but i'm just saying it's not a hundred percent that we know exactly what bite dance could do with tiktok like we just don't know and so there is mm -hmm. a little bit of doubt obviously it's not the fear-mongering 
meta backed level of what Congress just did. Right. But I think we can say with certainty and the verge, this is, this is where I'm kind of getting my information from. The verge even said that during his five hour beratement, he, he never really assuaged anybody's fears. Like he didn't come out explicitly and say like, this can never happen. He just says, it's not happening now. It hasn't happened up until this point. And outside of like anybody asking him a real question, I don't think like they ever got to that point. You're right. It was agenda based the whole time, which is why these types of hearings are so ridiculous, but we're still going to use it. (laughs) We're still going to post clips on there. And thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Please rate and review wherever you choose to lurk. Remember to be kind to each other, and we'll see you on Saturday.